hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to crochet these uh, very cute stegosaurus dinosaur so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head moving down to the body and tail and we'll start with the magic ring and then eight single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then i'll pull my marker i'll pull my yarn and place my marker over here okay so now in the second row we'll do single crochets all the way around for a total of eight single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet one two three okay and four five six seven and eight okay so now in our third row Okay, so in our third row, we are going to start by doing three single crochets. So we'll do single crochet. One, two, three. Okay, and then we'll do three single crochet in the same stitch in the next stitch. So we'll do single crochet one and then another single crochet in the same stitch. And one more single crochet in the same stitch and then we'll repeat that again one more time so three single crochets in the same stitch okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining three stitches okay so now in the fourth row we are going to start by doing four single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three and four okay and then we'll do we'll increase four times so increase one increase two increase three and increase four okay and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining four stitches Okay, so now we have a total of 16 single crochets. Okay, so now after that, in the next two rows, which is row 5 and row 6, we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 16 single crochets. Okay, so do single crochets in this round, which is the fifth round and the sixth round, and then we'll do the seventh round together. Okay, so after the sixth round this is how it looks like so now in the seventh round we are going to start by doing four single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet one two three and four and then after that we are going to decrease four times so we'll decrease one time okay decrease again second time 
and decrease the third time and decrease again the fourth time okay and then after that we'll do single crochets in the remaining four stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet and single crochet okay so now after that now in the eighth row we're going to start by doing single crochets in the next three stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and three okay and then after that we'll do a single crochet three tug so we'll decrease in the next three stitches okay so we'll go into the first stitch pull through and then go into the second stitch pull through and go into the third stitch pull through so we have one two three four four loops on our hook and then we'll pull through all the four loops together Okay, and then we'll repeat that one more time. Like that. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches. Okay, so now we have a total of eight single crochets. Okay, so now in the ninth round, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of eight stitches. So you continue and do single crochet, single crochet, and you continue doing single crochets all the way round. Okay, so now after that, you're going to stuff the head. As you can see, I've already stuffed mine. Because in the next row, which is the 10th row, we are going to start making the body. Okay, so now in the 10th row, we are going to start by doing three single crochets. So we'll do single crochet one, two, and three. Okay, and then after that, we'll increase three times. Okay, so increase one then increase two and increase one more time three okay and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches okay so now we have a total of 11 single crochets okay so now in the 11th row we'll start by doing three single crochets so single crochet one two and three okay and then after that we'll do single crochet then increase and we'll do that three times okay so single crochet then increase then repeat that again repeat again one more time i mean two more times so single crochet then increase and then again single crochet and increase Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so now we have a total of 14 single crochets okay so now in the 12th row we'll start by doing three single crochets so single crochet one two three and then we'll do two single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that again so we'll do three times so single crochet one two 
then increase and repeat again two single crochets and increase and repeat again one more time two single crochets and increase And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches. Okay, so now we have a total of 17 stitches. Okay, so now in the 13th row, we are going to start by doing three single crochets. So single crochet one, two, and three. Okay, and then we'll do three single crochets then increase and we'll do that three times okay so three single crochets and increase and repeat three single crochets and increase and one more time three single crochets and increase <coughs> and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so now we have a total of 20 stitches okay so now after we're done with that for the next two rows which is row 14 and row 15 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 20 single crochets okay so do single crochets in the next two rows and then we'll do the 16th row together okay so after the 15th row this is how it looks like so now in the 16th row we are going to start by doing five single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then we'll do three single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat that three times okay so until the end so we have a total of 17 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then decrease and then again three single crochets and decrease and then one more time three single crochets and decrease okay so now in the 17th row we're going to do five to start by doing five single crochets so single crochet one <coughs> two three four and five and then we'll do two single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 14 stitches so two single crochets and decrease two single crochets decrease and again two single crochets and decrease okay so now we have a total of 14 stitches okay so now in the 18th row we are also going to start by doing five single crochets so single crochet one two 
three, four, five. Okay, and then we are going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way to the end for a total of um, 11 stitches. So do single crochet, then decrease and repeat single crochet decrease and one last time single crochet and decrease okay so now in the 19th row we are going to do uh, five single crochet first so single crochet one two three four five okay and then I'll decrease three times okay so decrease one decrease again two and decrease one last time three okay so now in the 20th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of eight stitches so you're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so now after you're done with the 20th row you're going to fill up uh, the body completely because now we are finishing off with the tail okay so now in the 21st row we are going to do six single crochets so we we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and then we are going to decrease okay and then now in the 22nd row we are going to do five single crochets so single crochet one two three four five and decrease okay now in the 23rd row which is the last row we're going to do four single crochets one two three four and decrease Okay, so we are not going to stuff the tail, so I'll just remove my marker, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn. Okay, and then we're going to finish off. Okay, so now after that we'll start making the spikes okay so for the spikes I'm going to use this pink yarn and I'm going to start by doing a chain three so chain one two three four five six seven eight 
three okay and then um starting in the second chain from the hook i'll do single crochet and then in the next chain i'll do half double crochet like that okay and then i'll do a chain one like that Okay, and then I'll start again and do a chain three. Okay, so chain one, two, three. And then I'll do single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then half double crochet in the next chain. Like that. And then I'll do again a chain one and repeat chain. Uh, I'll do a chain three. So one, two, three. And then do single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then half double crochet. And then a chain one and then again i'll do three single i mean chain three one two three okay then single crochet in the second chain from the hook and half double crochet in the next chain And chain one okay so now we have four spikes as you can see okay so one last one so chain one two three then single crochet in the second chain from the hook and half double crochet Then I'll do a chain one to finish off and cut off the yarn. Okay, so this is how our little spikes look like. So we're gonna just fix them over here like that. Okay, so now we are going to make the legs okay so for the legs we are going to make four and we are going to start with the magic ring and eight single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then i'll pull my yarn okay so now in the second row we are going to do single crochet all the way around but in the back loops only Okay, so we have two loops, this one and that one. So we're just going to work in the other loop, the outside loop. Okay, so we'll do single crochet in the back loop. Then single crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. Single crochet in the back loop. And then we'll continue like that all the way to the end. Okay, so after we're done with that, this is how it looks like. So now in our third row we are going to do to start by doing two single crochets so single crochet one and another single crochet and then we'll decrease two times okay so decrease and decrease one more time
and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches okay so now we have a total of uh, six stitches okay so now in the fourth row which is the last row of the leg we are going to do single crochet all the way around so we'll have a total of six stitches Okay, so after that I'll remove my marker, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, okay so you're going to feel the leg a little bit over here and also make the other three legs the same way we made this one. So now let's attach all the parts together. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching all the parts together. So the attaching is quite easy because you only have to attach the spikes and the legs. So what I did is I attached the spikes here first. So you have to make sure it's at the center of the head, the body and the tail, just like that. So you can use a needle or you can use um, fabric glue to attach it in my case. I just used a needle uh, to thread through and then uh, for the legs here for the back legs I counted one two three four five and from the sixth row from the back that's why I attached the legs like that and also here uh, for the front legs here from the counting from the neck one two three and fourth row from the neck that's where I attach the legs as you can see okay and then I embroidered the little eyes over here okay so guys that's it for this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos until next time bye